We, don't we start this with a thing? Yes, we start this with a thing. <laughs> When I started working on this album, when I realized that I wanted to make this album, I was overwhelmed at first because I knew that doing something like this for me personally was going to be so much more than just singing a bunch of songs I had always sung because the music that is in this album is the music that raised me. It's so much more than even honoring a type of music. You know, Jackson is the home of rockabilly. It's the home of Carl Perkins. There's so much music that's come from here. There's so much influence, especially in music that's come from here. And I think it's important to make sure that people don't ever forget how important those songs are. His music, his writings, and so many other people within that genre. I really wanted people to know about the influence that my hometown has had on the world. I, I can't wait for the town of Jackson to hear the music that is being created here still. It's still in the roots, it's still in the dirt, it's still just Jackson, Tennessee, real rockabilly music that Lola is taking to a whole nother level. Doing music and recording music, it, it's like having a photograph taken of your voice. It's having a photograph taken and capturing of a moment in your vocal journey, in your experience as an artist, in your experience as, as a musician. And Lolo is all of those things wrapped into one a crazy talented firecracker of a person. And she is so highlighted on this album of what her core values are as a musician, as an artist, but what her core values are as being from Jackson, Tennessee, and I'm just beyond excited for people to see it and hear it.
process of making this record has been an interesting journey. I was pregnant for most of the pandemic, and then I had my son in, in August of 2020, and you know, I, I learned more than I wanted to learn that year about myself and about being vulnerable and being in situations that were really out of my control. I was confined to my house for my doctor's orders because we didn't know what the deal was with COVID and I was I was playing rockabilly music a lot. I was playing old school music a lot. Before you make up your mind you really wanna go stop and think it over there's something you call to uh, be asked to make the Lola record is one of those calls that you pray at some point you will get to receive <laughs> within yes. your career. Um, but the best things in life are not the most expected and this came completely unexpected. You know when I called Ashley and I said hey like I have this crazy idea I've always wanted to make a rockabilly record. Is this something that you think you guys could get into? <laughs> and I was so grateful that she said yes. I was so grateful that she didn't hesitate. She just said, I, I love it and I'm, I hear you and I hear your passion for this music and for this project and for what it represents for you as an artist to be able to take on these songs and transform them. So many times in the industry as artists, we are told what we have to be. Um, a label will come in, a manager will come in, an agent will come in, casting directors will come in, and they will say, this is the kind of music that people want to hear from you, therefore you must step into the box and deliver. And that is uh, something that, that Lauren and I very deeply share. Um, that we need to be authentic to the stories that we need to tell, to the songs that we need to sing, to the songs that, and the stories and songs that we need to share. And um, it's just, it's been an honor to collaborate with her in this way. And um, she just, she just means the world to Mitchell and I. So we, we cannot wait to share this record with you. X marks the spot right here in Jackson, Tennessee. There's no other place like it in the world than right here. And I feel so lucky that I get to call it my hometown. It's an incredibly passionate set of songs that reminds you that it doesn't really matter what the technological advances might exist 
or have developed over the years, a good song is a good song. And it doesn't matter how much time passes, a classic song is always a classic. <laughs>